Okay. And now the managing director of Junge Welt, Dietmar Koschmida, and Sebastian Carlens, the head of another department, are going to talk to us a bit about the trials that the Junge Welt have the charges that they have pressed against the German government. So before we come to the actual charges that have been pressed and the trial itself, you remember that Ingo Hurman from the Junge Welt campaign department is standing in front of the yellow umbrellas and he was calling for you to make a subscription to the Junge Welt. Let me say we've had 85 subscriptions. That's not bad, but it's not enough. It's not nearly enough if we want to have enough financial foundation or our breeding ground, as the Office for the Protection of the Constitution here in Germany calls it. I'm sure we can get to 100. I'm optimistic about that. The colleagues at the stands still have not enough to do, so please give them a bit of work by signing up for a subscription or give a subscription to somewhere else so that this conference can survive next year too without ruining us. Thank you very much. Now, many of you already have a subscription. I'm well aware of that. There are reasons for this. But you can give them away to friends and acquaintances and relations, or you can tell people in your circle of friends to subscribe later. So the German Office for the Protection of the Constitution as the hypocritical name is of the domestic security service has called it, they're trying to dry out the breeding ground for the Junge Welt. And now we'll hear a bit more about that. Now, very briefly, the Junge Welt for many, many years now has been referred to in the domestic intelligence reports. The Christian Democratic Union didn't do it. It was the first social democrat green government that put us on the list of organizations being observed. It was Mr. Schilly who first said that we were against the Constitution. Then uh, we weren't in a CDU report on that after that. But for many years now, we are referred to in these reports as the only German daily which is supposedly left-wing extremist. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute before you cheer. What they understand as left-wing extremist is different than what we think it is. We are taking them to a court because what we say is what you're planning to do is limiting freedom of opinion, freedom of press, and you're also not allowing free competition because if we don't have the same equal playing field as the competitors, that's not fair. And why has it taken us so long to take them to court? Well, the reason is that the left party, Die Linke, had an inquiry as to why the Junge Welt is the only newspaper referred to in the domestic intelligence report. And the response was such a shock that we thought we can't leave that. We were told it was Marxist and therefore the breeding ground should be referred from. You know, the assumption is if you can pull the financial carpet under from under our feet, then that suggests that we're not doing our business well. So in a nutshell, we need subscriptions. For many years, though, it's gone back and forth in this trial because every year there's a new report from the domestic intelligence, and every year we have to process it, and this is the same for the report from 2022, and that gets added to the indictment list. And now we've got the last statement by the German government that they put before court, and we're expecting a first instance ruling soon. But let me tell you what they're accusing us of. 
why we are anti-constitutional in our nature. I quote the plaintiff in 2022 has an understanding of themselves that is Marxist and that is very anti-capitalist, anti-imperialist, anti-fascist, and traditionally communist in their attitudes. So we are still living in a civil democracy where something like this should be possible, shouldn't it? But apparently it is not a good thing if you do that. And from the first six pages of the court statement, and there are hundreds and hundreds of pages of such nonsense, but just to give you a feel for it, there's another quote. Why is Junge Welt anti-constitutional? The statements of the managing director, Mr. Koshnikov, Koshmida, who can still be considered as the acting managing director because he is still the managing director and his he has his attitude has apparently not changed. Junge Welt continues to pursue a clear Marxist approach. And this is further proof for our anti-constitutional nature in this daily. Interestingly, the next sentence is Junge Welt regularly confirms that it is the legal successor of a publication of the BDR. And it is celebrating its 75th anniversary. This makes it clear. And then it goes on and on and on at the end of the sentence. So basically, we're saying, yes, this daily was founded in 1947, and that that is our legacy, and particularly the anti-fascist legacy that is being we're being accused of having. We are actually accused of being consistently anti-fascist, pursuing peace, but also the principle which is Marxist, of analyzing realities based on Marxist understandings. All of this is anti-constitutional. Who knew? And then we have the Rosa Luxemburg Conference, which is also going to be referred to in the next report. I'm sure this conference will be in the next report as well, which is why you just talked about Ingo Hohmann. He is trying to get subscriptions, and the report realizes how how there's a willingness of violence of this newspaper. Yes, the Office of the Protection of the Constitution quotes. Wait, where's that quote? Here it is, here it is, here it is. Bear with me. The best weapon is the Junge Welt, so that's why you should all subscribe for it, Ingo Hohmann said, and it is the best weapon which replaces Kalashnikovs and has the advantage of only killing idiocy. So this is the charge leveled against the Junge Welt that we are daring to kill Ignorance and idiocy, whether we manage is another question, but this is literally proof that has been filed to a court that we have to engage with here. And on the one hand, the order of the state of the German Republic is being described as a quote unquote class society, as capitalist and even, it literally says, and even imperialist, defaming our society and regularly Marxist vocabularies used such as class struggle uh, are used here. Now you might laugh, but we can't laugh because if they succeed, friends and comrades, if they succeed in court, that means that every liberation th theorist is anti-constitutional. Anyone who works with class analysis is an enemy of the Constitution. This would be a massive limitation of democratic and civil rights, and it wouldn't just affect the Junge Welt daily. And another reason why it isn't something we can laugh at, I mean, there's this wonderful film that we saw of 
you know, the mumien of the Fleur de Cologne, and you can get it as a CD or a DVD. It doesn't cost much. You can have a look at it a few times. The analyses made there are so current and relevant today that it really makes your blood run cold. For example, you heard that this main attack is against you, is that we have a Marxist orientation. In this film of the mummies, there was a quote that said, and by the way, not for a second, allow yourself to come away from our slogan, it is destruction of Marxism. That is the spirit of this paper. But it, the quote is from Adolf Hitler. It was only when I saw this film, the Mumian that we showed earlier, that that's who first said it. So it's frightening. Now we, as a newspaper, are fighting to sell as many newspapers as we can. I mean, we're doing pretty well. We're continuing to fight to have a conference like this one. It was a real risk. We weren't sure if it was going to work out to a whole, to be able to rent such a big venue as this one, but it has paid off. It has paid off. But that means that they are combating us proactively. It's not just referring to us in the constitutional office report or domestic intelligence report, but they call us all the time. We often can't work because the RBB radio broadcaster in the middle of an advertising campaign, you know, we booked 40 spots, we'd broadcast 20, stopped them in the middle of the ad and said, you are enemies of the Constitution and you are suing the federal government so you can no longer place ads on us. There's an an animal welfare organization in Esslingen who were no longer able to Publish because they had an ad for Junge Welt who are known as anti-constitutional. I could talk all evening long, but I won't. So we are suing the German government so that this stops. We are willing to go through all of the instances. I think we're going to lose at first instance, but it costs a hell of a lot of money to do this. And the first instance trial hasn't happened, and it already costs 70,000 euros, and the numbers are only going to go off. So for that, we don't just need donations for our for the court case, but we also need donations for this conference, which isn't financed yet. But the other thing is subscriptions are a political response. The German government has to realize that efforts to do this will achieve the opposite of what they're intending, to destroy us. They're going to achieve the absolute opposite. And we're going to continue to be the newspaper that is managing to increasing its substitutions, its uh, subscriptions. So we can only do it with your help. Thank you in advance, because every subscription of the Junge Welt hurts the, the, the capital. So let us in, ensure that we strengthen our breeding grounds, strengthen our financial basis, have money for the court cases and for the conference. So we regularly presenting our account details so that you can donate. But we're running out of time now, so we won't continue too long. I just wanted to say that on the one hand, we want to keep going with our printed paper, but we've also got digital transformation. We have to achieve digital transformation because it's getting more and more expensive to print papers. And we've got lots planned for 2024. We want to completely revamp our website. Soon we will introduce a Junge Welt app, and we will be informing you about that. It won't take long. Until that's ready, we'll let you know. And whether digital or online, every subscription counts, every subscription erodes the capital. Now, at 8 o'clock, a bit later, but not much later, we're all going to be singing International, first time in Tempo Drum, and later, we would love it, it if we can all sing here. You can come up onto the stage and do it as well. We're going to see what the acoustics are like, and we want to smash this song towards the German government as well to say we're not going to let you crush us. Have a good evening.